If you have ever entered a shopping mall just to watch a movie and then left with four shopping bags, then maybe it's not entirely your fault. The world is designed in a way to make you spend more. For example, a t-shirt costs $9.99 and not $10. A cafe latte is $3.99 and not $4. Because our brain puts more focus on the first number and this gives us a perception of a $1 difference. These tricks are obvious and visible to our eyes, so probably we won't fall for them. So I will not waste your time by talking about them here. Instead, we will break open those sneaky little ploys carefully placed in every stage of our buying process so that we won't even realize we are being manipulated. And at the end, I will give you all the wisdom you need to protect yourself from falling for them. This is going to save you a lot of money. So let's get started. I want to buy a new television. Which brand should I go for? LG, Samsung, Sony? There are over 200 television brands in the world, but still, those were the names that came to my mind first. And the reason? advertisements. The marketing budget of LG, Samsung and Sony is in billions. I have often wondered why advertisement works at all. We know everything is staged from the actors to the dialogues to the claims. Jennifer Lopez appeared in this ad for Fiat 500. Do you think she actually drives around in a Fiat 500? And then there is a 007 himself promoting Indian pan masala. Really? Pan masala could have always killed you. But now it has officially the license to do that. We know they aren't even slightly related to these fields and shouldn't have a say in it. But still, we kind of believe them and they influence our shopping decisions. How does it all work? Let's watch this LG ad with the Indian actor SRK in the main role. But there is only one that shows you are a class apart. There is no mention of any of the features in this TV. He doesn't talk about the OLED screen's high brightness and contrast or how slim the TV is. The ad is all about class. And if you own an LG TV, you'll be classy. Who doesn't like that? Everyone loves stories. We value them over statistics and they get stuck in our brain and marketing people know that very well. The best example is Apple. Apple commercials are unique and they always leave a long-lasting impression. The ads are not about the product directly, but they show stories about how much fun a person can have with their products. They are not playing to the logical part of our brain. They are just trying to create a link between the product and our emotions. Because we buy based on emotions and then justify that purchase with logic. So I went against my instincts and decided to go to the local electronics store to check the models myself. So let's get the car keys. Now I am in a shopping mall in the neighborhood. Have you noticed something strange about the shopping malls? If the escalator to the first floor is on one end, then the one to go to the second floor will be on the opposite end. And the layout is so confusing. And I used to think, why can't they get better architects? Little did I know that this was done intentionally because it brings two benefits. One, it creates confusion. So our brain has to work more and this leads to decision fatigue. But then how does it help sales? I will explain. Think of walking into your local supermarket. What is the first product you see? It's always fresh fruits and vegetables, but they are the most perishable items. So ideally, they should be the last things we should pick up. And do you know which products are kept near the cash counter? Sweets, chips, beverages, and all other processed items. Doesn't make sense, right? Now, we all have a finite amount of willpower at any point in time. It's like a battery. And as we use it, it gets drained. So after a series of serious choices, our willpower battery is empty when we get to the cash counter. And then we tend to make irrational impulsive decisions. That's why even the ultimate fitness freak sometimes reaches for a chocolate bar at the checkout counter. The second reason for the confusing layout is that these stores care about our health. So they force us to walk more. I'm kidding. They don't care about the health benefits of walking, but they do care about the money draining effects. As we pass by other stores, we might see something interesting and make an impulse purchase. Therefore, textile shops, footwear stores, and cosmetic stores are all easily accessible and are placed along the way. In contrast, others such as electronic stores and food courts are always far from the entrance. Now you know why the movie theaters are always on the top floor in a shopping mall. They know that the more time we spend in there, the more things we will buy. But how can someone fool us so easily? We can just walk past a store without getting in, right? But then there are some sneaky tricks there also. Most cosmetic stores will have someone standing near the entrance who may offer a spray of perfume. A similar pattern can be seen near tourist centers where they give a piece of chocolate or a glass of wine to taste. We may feel that they are nice for offering us things for free. 
and who doesn't like to get free stuff but not all of them have genuine good intentions if we are not paying for it then that tiny piece of chocolate is a debt they are taking advantage of the fact that most of us have a problem being in another person's debt we somehow feel the need to return the favor so most likely we end up buying something from them which we don't need at all if not at that moment then maybe sometime later there is a hidden reason why spotify offers you a 30 day free trial now i have reached the television section in the electronic store and the first thing i notice is that there are a lot of tvs this is called the paradox of choice we open netflix and we see 1000 movies we patiently scroll through each one of them and then after 5 minutes we switch off the tv when i was young i could watch only two movies every week one on a friday night and one on a sunday evening there was no choice those were the only ones broadcasted <laughs> i know i sound like an old uncle who starts with once upon a time stories but it's true that nowadays people are bombarded with options there are just too many to choose from options are good but when they go beyond a limit they destroy the quality of life just keep in mind that in television sets relationships or every other thing in life it's impossible to make a perfect choice good enough is actually good enough so let me just look for my good enough tv all these television sets kept in the beginning are totally above my price range ideally the most popular ones will be the moderate priced ones and they should be displayed first but that's not the case here and it's not accidental this is a sales technique called anchoring so when you walk past all the 3000 4000 ones and get to your 500 dollar tv you don't feel like you are spending a fortune the recommended retail price printed on many products is nothing more than an anchor and when we look closely at the price tags there are more hidden strategies here every product has a fake retail price and then a heavily discounted sales price this makes it seem like we are getting a great deal ideally only the current price should matter but somehow a product discounted by 300 dollars seems to be a better deal than one with no discount and most of these offers and discounts last only for a fixed time or until stocks run out just the feeling of rarity will increase the value of the product in our eyes even if it's not necessarily rare another common sales trick is a buy one get one free or bogo now if you are already planning to make a purchase and the second one is free then by all means take it but just don't go to the store because there is bogo of course for my current purchase i am not going to fall for this i don't need two televisions or do i i did check out a few models and also talk to the sales person but i didn't make the purchase because i wasn't prepared so now let's head home and then approach it the right way think carefully about what you want set a budget and make sure you stick to it this should be like the red line you shall never cross know how much you are ready to cash out before you do any research or check any offers with purchases like television sets or cars there will always be small incremental updates if you pay 50 dollars more you may get a slightly brighter screen or if you pay another 100 dollars you can get the next bigger size this will never end so stick to your budget invest the time to do serious research before you click the buy button see what are the major brands and models that fall within your budget assess products and services only based on the price and benefits go through blogs and product reviews a good place to check is the verified reviews on amazon from the current product owners and don't buy from an unknown brand just because the washing machine is at an 80 percent discount if it stop washing after a month then you just made a hundred percent loss so it's always better to put quality over quantity once you have filtered and identified some models, add them to a price comparison service such as Idealo or Camel 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 to know the price history. Some apps even allow you to set alerts when the price drops below the set limits. If it's not an urgent purchase, then wait a few months. Offers always repeat and the price will drop. You just need to have the patience to wait for it. If you have to go to a shopping mall to make a purchase, then be clear on what you want to buy and where you want to buy it. Once you are at the shopping mall, then take the shortest route to the destination. Take the lift instead of escalator or stairs if the store is on a different floor. You can work out later. Every time we walk into a shopping mall, supermarket or a store, it's us against them. 95% of our purchasing decisions are made in our subconscious mind. So once you understand how retailers try to influence your behavior, then you can learn to fight back. If you got some value from this video, then give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Until I see you with another video, adios and happy shopping.